haven't done a video in a while and um, I thought I would do a little update on my pins. I found this very antique pin with no clip and it had a silver palladium nib and I had never tried a silver palladium nib before so I just thought, well I'll try that so um, I hammered out a little clip for it I had some scrap brass and uh, it was pretty beat up with all kinds of plating on it and I made a little handmade clip on a jewelry man drill doesn't really match and it doesn't have much spring it was kind of thin so I made it wider to make it supportive but it sits in my pin case well and it doesn't crush or anything so um, then I get this nib is the main reason I got the pin silver palladium and I inked it up a little bit and uh, started doodling around in my one of my sketchbooks called reflections from creative mark I bought this at Jerry's Artorama The uh, silver palladium is um, a little bit flexy, a real interesting nib. Whoops, I uh, railroaded it a little bit. This doodle is um, just, well, one way for me to try out some nibs and uh, draw little space aliens. They have little eyes and a swirl for a mouth and three feet and one hair. Their story is, is like, well, how would we know there are aliens if we don't even know what we're looking for? They live in zero gravity and they make strange music. They create their environment by the way they bounce around in their environment. I just love this nib. It's not super flexy, but it's just enough to give some real variety. to the line.
there's some reverse writing to it. It's very smooth. does slide off and you can see where the old clip did break off and uh, yeah something new silver palladium 